quiet. Don't tell anyone. I'm anonymous. And I'm playing anonymous as well. This is a good game. I think it was. Five minute game, as you can see from the clock. And uh, don't disturb that game on the right. That's uh, good old coyote. Or coyote versus roadrunner. Roadrunner always wins. What colour is Roadrunner? I don't actually know. Probably white. I have to have a look. I'm not sure. I have to have a look. Yes, of course. And it looks like Roadrunner has checkmated Coyote. Goodness sakes. Can he never ever win? Here we go with this game. Hope you enjoy this game. Uh, I saved it and I've got a picture of it as well at move 10. Hmm, Bishop F4. Yes, that's been played before. I'm winning on time. My opponent's got 440, I've got 452. But am I winning the position? Who knows? I don't think so. Knight on e4 attacked by pawn f3. Obviously, and uh, played 95, bishop b5, 96, 92. So everyone can guess my move here. Now here I think I make a wee bit, bit of an error. I don't think I should stick my knight into e3. Because it just uh, seems to get undermined. But I do. I play knight e3 and I think this is probably a mistake. I probably should just play... Uh, I don't want to play queen d6 here. Because if I ever play knight e3, then my opponent will just lift the knight on e3. But I could play queen d6 with the idea of rook a e8. So then at least the rook can take the knight on e3. That's been captured by white. Anyway, knight e3, queen d3, rook e8. Hmm, not sure. Not very good play here. So here comes g3 already. Uh, white is annoying my established knight on e3. So I just, um, what do I do? What would you do? So what would you do here? I don't know. It's sort of like a bit tangy. And as previously mentioned, I can't go for queen d6, g4, g4. Uh, Rook e3, rook e3, queen e3, 
f e3, bishop takes queen d6, is advantage white. So I played queen d7. Now this is more or less giving up a pawn at least. Rook e5. Now I say I would rather have my rook on f8 and the other rook on e8. Move 27, king h8. A move I once played against uh, someone other than E.M. Jackson, the late E.M. Jackson. I played a move similar to this against another opponent. I could try to go queen e6 to g6, but it's not my move now. And thereby threaten knight g3 check and queen takes queen. Ha ha ha. But I didn't go for that sort of thing. My opponent now goes king g2. And I thought, oh, that's quite good. I'll go rook g8. Why not? That's a check. Never miss a check. It may be mate. Never miss a check. It may be mate. King f2. Now, can I do anything here? I played knight h4. It might be okay, it might not be, I'm not sure. Queen e3. Rock g2 check. Oh, e6, that was played a bit quick. I'll just go slower. So rock b2. E6, Queen E7, thereby looking after my knight on H4. Otherwise, Queen D4 check would occur. See, so I played Rook takes A2 again. Now I play Rook A2. Queen E5 check. King G8. Queen B8. King g7, queen e5 check. Now not queen f6 as queen f6, king f6, e7, and black is clearly lost. Play king g6, knight e2. So it's your move now. What would you play now? And as per usual, I'm not saying it's the best move on the planet, but it's the move I chose. I do not like this knight coming into f4 check, so I remove the knight. I sacrifice rook e2. My opponent now plays um, rook e2. And so now, not knight f3, I think. Uh, it might be okay, but I don't think it is very good. Uh, how can we get that king of mine? We can go... What happened there? Oh, sorry. Something happened there. Uh, it probably doesn't show up on the screen, but my screen just lost the... Um, the... leeches.org image. Here I played h5. And here my opponent returned the um, returned the sacrifice of the rook for um, the exchange before that I sacrificed my rook for knight e2. Plays rook g2. So I capture knight g2. King g2. And I cannot play now Queen g5 check. As queen takes queen check, king takes and e7 and the pawn marches to queen. I played h6, a6 here. 
f4, queen f6. Now, um, the rest is sort of like um, easy peasy. Queen f6, king f6. Now, the pawn has to be defended, and I cannot, on e6, and I cannot capture the f5 pawn, as it's an f5 pawn, I can't do that. And also, the pawn runs after king f5. So, f5, protected past pawn, both connected past pawns. But I cannot capture on f5 for obvious reasons. So I set about playing move 43a5. Now, of course I could just push the pawn, but I didn't. I played it slower. But I'm my opponent is outside the box. And I wasn't really thinking, oh, is, he, is my opponent out of the box? I just went b5. I might have wanted to do this instead c5 but notice that um, here black has two connected past pawns as well but there's a wee, wee bit of a difference in this position is the d5 pawn the d5 pawn can distract White's king. So all I have to do is make sure I don't miss e7, e8, queen. Uh, but, you know, like I have to take that e7 pawn if it marches to e7. So the d5 pawn is, um, is a pawn up, of course, for black. Uh, but the d5 pawn can offer as itself up as a distraction or a decoy to white's king and then another pawn might march and as well as that i had it won of course easier before or i was losing before but i then ended up in a better position than white but now it's white's turn so um the thing is is what happens soon is this h4 d4 now, white could go and attack the d4 pawn, but then uh, b3 would happen. So if king d3 now, then b3 happens, and the king is finding finding it rather difficult to... Um, the king is finding it rather difficult to move back to stop the pawn from marching, initially at least. And it cannot catch on d4, the pawn on d4, the white king, as then b2 would happen and it's queen. King d5 after that, and I only have to watch out for king d6 and that sort of thing, or king e5 after king e7, if you get what I mean. So... Um, it's relatively one as long as I'm still a wee bit careful. So here's d3. This prevents king c2, of course. So now the king has option of c1, b1, a1, and a2 plays c1. And now again a3, king d2. Now I'm just going to go through these moves. So my opponent's now got 9.3 seconds and um, sort of continues on. But I'm going to show you the rest of the game. And I hope it works out for the computer. Now my opponent goes king c7. A slight uh, variant on the further one before, earlier. Queen c1, king d7, queen c c6. One move away from checkmate, which is queen um, four, queen e4, 
to E8 is checkmate. That is the end of the session. I hope you enjoyed it. All the best with your chess and primarily try to enjoy it. Thank you. Bye for now. Who won? Oh, obvious. Always wins, don't you? And white begins and wins, the Dutch say. Wit begint and...